need to see my right. Actually, film it like this. No, no, you need to see it like from my eyes. Okay. All right, so there are three stresses, three factors actually. Is it recording? Okay, so there are three factors that basically have to do with health and maintaining health. And three, there are three subjects that we're constantly dealing with. We're dealing with chemical. We're dealing with psychological, and we're dealing with physical. Okay? Now, under these three topics, these are the topics that are going to basically affect our health. They're interrelated. They all relate with one another. They're all related and they all have cause and effect on each other. All right? So your body tries to deal with and has to balance the chemicals inside of us. And so what chemicals do we have inside of us? Well, chemicals from the air we breathe, chemicals from our foods, and chemicals on the skin. And we have natural chemicals inside of us as well. We have our hormones, okay, and on top of that, we have our cellular hormones, enzymes, and other body um, like fluids and chemicals. Okay, so our body has to regulate the chemicals that we have in our body. We utilize hormones to regulate these chemicals and to allow our body's systems function efficiently on itself. It all has to do with chemicals. Okay, um, the chemical aspect also um, deals with, I guess, again, the air we breathe in, the foods that we intake, the skin, uh, what we chemicals that we put in our skin. And these kinds of chemicals in the air, you know, toxins, with toxins, foods, and these would be toxins. And in foods we have toxins, but we also have nutrients. Okay? which include, let's say, sugars, proteins, you know, and, uh, you know, other, others, okay? So our body's constantly trying to regulate this and deal with this. Um, this is, um, all of these things contribute to stress. So, and have to be regulated. Now we have our psychological aspect. Now the psychological aspect is um, how our body deals with environmental psychological stressors. Right? Environmental psychological stress. Emotional. Emotion. Whether you're happy, whether you're Emotion, and now the, the, these um, psychological stressors um, can be um, regulated by yourself, by um, if your nutrients, if you have good nutrients, nutrients is good for your, good for your psychological because this can affect your mood, right? But if you have toxins, toxins in your body, your toxins can then um, cause chemical alterations and then basically if the chemical alterations affect your hormones you can have increases of hormones which will affect psychological conditions as well. Okay, so your body, this is a huge subject that's interrelated because 
if psycho if you have psychological stress, you can have an immediately chemical immediately you can have a chemical response from psychological stress. You know, so you have agonists and antagonist antagonists constantly working against each other and with each other. And then there is physical, and physical um, constitutes um, posture. Posture is huge. How you're sitting eight hours, eight hours sitting on a chair like this with your hands forward. <laughs> that's my, that's my figure. So posture is huge. Um, if you're playing sports, you know, if you're going to do yoga, yoga would be good. Yoga is a great thing for your body. But um, physical stressors, posture, sports, injuries, all have an effect on your body. Your weight, if you're overweight, has a big effect on your body. And if these things have effects, these things are totally related to your mood. You know, they're totally related towards your mood. Your mood is totally related again towards chemicals and hormones. Okay, and then, so you have, I mean, everything is interrelated. Everything you have here is interrelated, and your body basically is working with this every day to try to keep it balanced. Your body's constantly trying to play a balancing act with each of these things, you know. And if your body can't balance all of these conditions, chemicals, whether it's psychological, physical, or chemical, and you're not doing your part for your nutritional intake over here, for your psychological, which could be just, you know, reflection, um, taking time for yourself to think about things, you know, music, uh, physical could be working out, interval training. If you're not balancing yourself, you have to do your part to balance yourself and to, to you know, just basically uh, make sure that you're healthy. You gotta, you're responsible for yourself, okay? It's all a balancing act. So um, take responsibility into your own hands. Your body is just trying to work with you. Your body, your body is your friend. It's just trying to balance it out. But it's when you um, take advantage of your body that's that's when you have symptoms. And when you have symptoms, that means you're headed towards disease. So, and here are all here are all the things that are going to make you lead toward disease, and all the things that you you're going to basically have to basically do in order to get yourself better and healthier. Okay, it's up to you. But this is really, I hope, I hope I've given you something that, that you can understand.